Can you tell me the significance of the symbolism in this hawk of death? <laughs> yes, this is a terrifying piece, actually. Um, well, you could see it that way, but uh, it's quite important as well. So, the significance of the oni on his belly here is that he's a transporter. This hawk will come and take your soul to wherever it needs to go, to the afterlife or wherever. Mm -hmm. um, so he puts the souls into his gourd, this oni, and once they go into the gourd, they're transported to the, the wing feathers of this hawk of death, and he then transports them on. So uh, it's kind of his own little situation going on here. Um, it's a very important, necessary part of life though, not to be afraid of this guy. He's a good guy. And what's the motif at the hawk's head and uh, the lower the hawk's portion head. of his body? Oh yeah, this uh, is kind of the swirl of wind. It shows all of the power blowing all around him. Oh. Um, trying to fit it all onto a body of a hawk was kind of difficult, so I just went with some symmetry there to try and keep it all together, yeah. And what prompted you to do something about this theme? Uh, when I was a child, um, my parents would also give us, we would also, we'd do some kind of satsang and some meditation and some of our practice growing up. Uh, a lot of times the hawk of death was spoken of. Oh. So it was kind of an image burned in my head as a, a youngster. And was it something to be afraid of or? Uh, at first I was afraid and then when I kind of became more comfortable with accepting death as a part of life, mm -hmm. now it's more of a beautiful thing. So kind of an angel. <laughs> oh.